All right, folks, the deck is even Paladin. The goal of the deck is to play a bunch of minions on curve using our hero power to fill out our curve when possible so that we can get to Crusader Aura to close out the game by bashing our opponent in the face. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Raffle. Watch this! Okay, buddy. Uh, let's bowl mull this. Look for our two drops. I think I, depending on what the matchup is, I might like getting the mining casualties down first, then playing the knife juggler and potentially killing off the uh, we have the dudes. Our curse into our strength. Ah, ah, I see you that may not be the case for this matchup, though. This means they have to use the hero power if they want to clear this off. Snipes. One. Holy. Two for two. See if we can give this some stats. Send that back into their deck to uh, make their draws worse. And now we're just looking for a Crusader aura, and then we'll be in business. The Citadel stands strong. Time to raise the stakes. To battle. To battle. Let's just do this. Weave in hero powers where possible. To replace the minions that we traded off without like completely filling up our board space. This fella infused. Reporting for duty. But man, 40 health is a lot to work through for a deck that does like slow incremental damage like this. Once again, very much like to draw the Crusader Aura. That is the card that makes this deck good. It's not Reno, which is important to know. To, well, there would have been awkward board space issues. Uh, oof. Soon this has a good chance of drawing the horn, which could be the way that I close this out if I don't hit the Crusader aura. Let's go here. OK. 
Okay, I'll just naturally hit the horn. I'm gonna need something rather impactful here. You could use a stream. Armor, armor, lightly use armor. You know it's impactable. I think we can call that impactful, but I don't know about rather impactful. Easy. The light shall bring victory. I will fight with honor. Well, at least we have called arms. I could do something. Wouldn't mind a second two drop at some we point. Ideally, before turn strength. three. Aggro may be one of our better matchups, especially with the uh, Tigris plushie available. But, like, I don't do great against uh, a Reno Priest. Well, gonna need that Prismatic Beam soon. Because we're about to take it here. Like, it might have to be the Tiger's plushie on four, the way this is uh, panning out. Unless they... Just don't have a pirate? That's a gift. Guess I'm confused as to why they... ...rushed out the cannon. In that instance. Just hit you with one of these. Trade this off, go face. Now we probably lose the Tiger's plushie. But if it does get to go face, that's a little bit of extra healing. I assume they're hoping for a raised dead here. We'll do it again. Does mean that's another ship's cannon, though, right? So that's something to consider. I do have a call to arms next turn. That's fine. Oh, they're just gonna play another shadow spell, right? Did I miss a missile? To battle. To battle. Oh. oh my god, my missiles don't miss, that's for sure. It's really lucky that they got such a slow, slow start here. Otherwise this game would probably look quite different.
This crud's my board, so let's just go here. Here. Guaranteed healing now or potential healing later. I think I take the guaranteed healing now. This is worse if they manage to top deck a shadow spell, but if that happens, like, we're just approaching the point where we kill them with the, uh, the sea giant and the horn. Close. You give me strength. I know how to grill my opponent. Might be a coin two drop angle. Especially with how many two drops we have. Turned our curse into our strength. Interesting. I want this down in case we find a way to rocket and draw into Crusader Aura, so Mining Casualties is also coming down next turn. Are they weaseling me? Am I getting memed on? Oh. I think I kill it to soften this up as well as uh, prevent them giving it reborn. Obviously, it does put it in a raise dead option. But it also, I wouldn't mind this dying again so that we can try and get the uh, Crusader Aura down. Please don't have Spirit Lash, though. Nice. Devour would be pretty brutal too. There's also a world where if I play this, I could hit Wind Fury for the Sea Giant. Okay. Yeah, that's what I wanted to prevent with the first trade. There are a lot of hits for lethal here. These are not them. To battle. I think I have to kill these. To battle. Just because the spirit lash is so devastating for me. For duty. To battle. To battle. But even if they complete the um the weapon this turn this just gets to bash him in the face so it's the spirit lash GG. Put this apple on your head. That's a pretty satisfying way to close this out.
I will fight with honor. Let's go. Mini bot, hero power. Yeah, we want the girl master to hit the adaptation. Otherwise, like. We have turned our curse what's into the point? our strength. According to duty. It's possible we just get turn four or five killed here, but maybe that doesn't happen every game. So I want to put the uh, Hand of a Doll on the Shielded Minibot and then probably the Adaptation on that as well for more attack. So far it does look like the Charge Druid. That could be a better play than the Grill Master. Yeah. It is the deck. Basically, all of, like, the outcome of the game is completely outside of my control, other than trying to close it out as quickly as possible. It's just a matter of whether or not the opponent high rolls the combo this turn or not. So far, so good. Maybe not. Looks like I'm dead. Or at least I'm dead next turn. I need to hit Wind Fury here. It's time to raise the stakes. Ready. Oh, guess we lose. They have the Dorian in hand, so yeah, I don't actually lose. That's way too much mana because I spent so much last turn. For the fallen. I know how to grill my opponent. Okay, two into four. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Uh, probably a pretty bad matchup if it's Reno, which, like, 40 card Priest is likely to be. Well, we're kind of drawing a lot of the cards we want to pull from the Call to Arms right now, but there's still a few. Just makes the uh, Knife Juggler more likely. Smiley face. So the bright side is that this deck doesn't run a lot of like spells, specifically removal spells. Downside is that the ones that they do run are absolutely devastating for me. So, uh, I wouldn't consider that one of the more devastating options, but they are getting great value off of it here. Juggler order remains undefeated. Now that said, the juggler does just die here, but that's half their turn. Unless they have a coin Raza. Which, why would I speak that into existence? What's wrong with me? Wrong Raza, at least. Let's make the board space that we need. And one of these days, one of these days, we will draw a Crusader aura when we have a good wide board for it. Will it be this day? Yes! Holy!
Let's pretend like this jukebox totem is doing something. Now it's a question of do they have the Reno? But I don't even think a Reno is enough here. I don't know what could possibly save them. What's better than one Crusader or <laughs> Picked a good time to start drawing the Crusader Wars. 